Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to share with you that I was trying with, uh, I was trying to do something with Retro Arch, and Retro Arch uh, is basically a way for uh, you to play games and retro games, of course. And I was of course trying to do the same thing on uh, Arch Linux. Now, RetroArch, I believe, is it has nothing to do with the uh, Arch Linux. Uh, and again, I don't really have a lot of information about how these things works. I just tried it for the very first time and it worked. It took me like half an hour to configure things, but uh, Arch Linux is actually really good about documenting stuff. Now, if you read this page on uh, Arch Linux uh, wiki, you will find the information about how to install it. So to install it, I installed Arch, uh, not Arch Linux, but RetroArch using uh, using uh, Pacman. So sudo pacman hyphen capital S RetroArch, it will install. Now the way it works, I believe, <laughs> based on my uh, based on my work so far, half an hour work, you have to also install uh, Core. I, I guess some Core library to uh, run those retro, retro games and the core library that you will download also depends on what kind of game you want to play. For example, if you want to play, let us say, NES based games then you have to install NES core. And again, uh, I've played games when I was a kid. Uh, I've played, uh, you know, usual Contra Mario and Tekken, you know, those famous games. But uh, uh, I think in the last 20 years, I have never really played any game like properly, uh, like as part of my entertainment uh, because I was not, never really uh, that free. But I thought, okay, I should try it. I should probably, you know, give it a try. Couple of years back, I did try to play those online games. And I believe it was like 10 years ago, I played, uh, uh, last time I played Contra was probably 10-ish years ago. And I played it, I, I finished it with, of course, the cheat, uh, the Konami cheat, I guess, something like that, yeah. And uh, it was fun. But today I thought, okay, I'll just uh, configure, uh, I'll first install it. So I installed it, then I installed uh, the, uh, the the ROM, not ROM, ROM will come later on, but the core. So the core that I installed is something that you can find. Uh, uh, so once you install Arch, uh, Retro Arch, you have to go to this link called commu community and here you will find the information about all those uh, cores so because i wanted to play contra and uh, contra i believe works with uh, this uh, i think there is one core called nestopia which i believe is nintendo entertainment system core whatever it works basically and then of course you have to download the core not the core, sorry, uh, the ROM. So, so three steps, install uh, RetroArch using Pacman, then install the core. You can also install these cores using uh, Pacman, great. And then that is it. Of course you can do, con do con if, you have the, you, if you want, you can also configure it the way you want. So in your .config, you will probably see one folder for uh, ret RetroArch and you can configure it. So you, you can basically configure the directories where you want these cores to be stored. But I don't really mind doing it using Pacman. Pacman will make it easy, I guess, when it comes to updating. So that is it. And then of course you can uh, start using it. Now I actually have the controller, which I purchased uh, not right now. I think it was, I think a couple of years back. I never really used it. Uh, I purchased two of these to, to basically play retro games. Uh, and uh, I guess now I will. And and it, it actually works with the uh, RetroArch. So let me show you. So what I'll do, I'll I'll probably just uh, run RetroArch. You can simply run it uh, straight away. And then, okay, let me just get rid of my, okay, where is my mouse? I think I need to, uh, okay, let me just quit this first. And uh, come on, why are you not working? Okay, let me just, ah, uh, come on, no. Okay, so let me just get rid of my browser. And then I will uh, run RetroArch again. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly it works. And I guess now I will not be able to move my uh, move my uh, window, my my webcam window. But anyways, I'll, I'll show you. So the f so the first thing that you will do is, of course, you can uh, click on the load core. And the moment you click on it. And okay, for some reason it is not working because I believe I have to use the controller now because I configured it. Uh, so 
two conf- uh, yeah this is working great so uh, i think uh, I, I need to figure out whether i can use both controller and mouse okay so to configure the controller if if it is not really working straight away you can go to settings uh, and then you can go to i believe uh, i'm also doing it for the very first time okay i believe configuration no yes conf- let, let me try let me try because i did configure the no <laughs> So no, I have to click select. No, okay. I have to press A. Uh, no, this is not it. I'll go back. Where exactly is the option? Input. Yes, input is the option. And I was watching. I watched a couple of videos online. The RetroArch user interface is like modern, which is not the case in my in my installation. I'll probably figure it out. I don't really care about this user interface as long as is as long as I'm able to play games. Okay, so let us go inside input. And then you, if you scroll down, you can actually see here that you will find uh, something called as port one controls. If you go inside this, you will then be able to uh, select. Uh, basically, I mean, what I did, I had to basically configure these uh, buttons. And if you're if you're using this uh, old controller, like something like this, you can basically uh, configure these keys like uh, D pad up, down, left, right. So you, you you click on it and then you can configure the key and uh, basically your A and B. I don't really have X and Y, do I? No. And then uh, select and start. That is it. And I, I guess based on the controller, you can also configure other uh, other buttons, which I don't really want to because I don't really have those buttons. <laughs> and uh, that is it. So let us go back and to play a game. Uh, oh, so, so before you can play a game, you have to load core. And uh, to load a core, you can simply go inside. Let me just trying to. Okay, so I have like th- these three cores installed, and uh, I can select here Nestopia, which is the one that I want to use. And the moment you select it, it will be listed here at the very bottom. And uh, if you want to now play the game, you can simply click on Load uh, Content, and then you can go to your uh, directory and basically play a game. And what you can also do is. Let me go to my history. Let us check if I have, yeah, I do have like, uh, uh, so when you of course play games, you will find these uh, games that you, play, that you played recently. Uh, or you can basically go to that load game and you can go to the directory where you have these uh, ROMs stored. So this is it. I'll probably select, uh, okay, which one? Okay, let us play the first one and I'll uh, click on the, okay, run, okay. So I'm now, playing the game. Let us see how it works. It has been a while. Okay. One player. I used to play it with my friend uh, when I was a kid. Still play it. No. Okay, so that is it. So I thought I'll probably you know share with all of you how you can play retro games on Arch Linux. Again, I'm also learning. By the way, I do have like one uh, ThinkPad X220 with Windows installed, like one hard disk with Windows. So when I, I I used to I tried playing games on that particular laptop, which is not something that I did a lot, but because I don't really want to use Windows, uh, uh, because I, apart from playing games, a couple of other things I was. That, that is it. I, I was not really doing anything on that particular uh, laptop. But I guess I'm happy now that I'm able to play a game on Linux using RetroArch. It works fine so far. Maybe what I'll do, you know, on this channel, I'll probably do some, uh, you know, some some uh, streams. Let us see how it goes. And uh, I'm also, of course, uh, trying to ensure that my laptop performs. So far, my laptop is fine. The, 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 the fan is not really screaming. So I guess, and by the way, I'm using T14, which is like a very modern computer, i5, uh, like recent 
recent processor, so I'm sure it can handle 16 GB RAM. And, and again, it's just, you know, retro game, which you can anyways play on very old computers. But overall, good experience. And I thought I'll probably share with all of you in case you want to do it. It will not take a lot of time. And uh, again, my I usually don't have a lot of time to play games, but uh, maybe I will, maybe I will, you know, these days... Uh, we spend too much time online on uh, YouTube or maybe on LinkedIn. And maybe, you know, if I'm playing games, it will be a good refreshment with my with my drink in the evening. Let us see how it goes. I'll probably try a couple of other games and uh, maybe I will explore RetroArch a bit more because there are, I'm sure there are a lot of other games that might be, that I might find interesting. All right, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you found, you found this video useful and you also learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.